Hey everybody, it's John Ziemba here, and in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the setup for designs in KW Command. So after you sign into KW Command, we'll click on the KW in the top left-hand corner, and then we'll come down and click on Designs. For this example, what we'll do is once we're on this design template page, yours might look differently than mine depending on how many designs you've made and even though it says my design templates I think a better name is my save designs so what we're actually going to do is just for the setup is we're going to come down and click the, the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and then we're going to click on social and then after we select slow social we'll click next and now we'll be in the actual editor for this example I'm just going to pick listings and then pick for sale. And then if, as I hover over, it gives me the option to use that particular piece. Once I'm in here, I'm gonna notice these different icons all the way on the left-hand side. What we're gonna do in this particular video is we're gonna set it up so that we're building our particular library so that all the image and the text that we need for our particular uh, marketing pieces will be in here. So for example, as you can see, I have my photo here and all I have to do is now click the plus sign and then I can put my um, photo anywhere on the particular um, piece that I'm designing. Now, what we'll notice on it, we also have text so we can have commonly used items like text. Like So for example, like a name um, or the, the the brokerage name, the brokerage address, whatever information that we want to put on a marketing piece will all be stored in here. We also have icons and then logos. Okay, and then these are all part of our individual libraries. We can put these pieces in here so it just makes it very easy for us to use. So for example, when I have a DBA name down here, I can come over here to my logos and then I can just re hit replace logo and that will allow me, if I replace it with the correct one, that will allow me to easily replace the logo. And that's why we're doing this. So in order to do this, all we have to do is come down to uh, Add to Library. And no matter where we're at, um, we can click on Add to Library. Now there's one little um, glitch that I'm noticing. What you'll notice is that sometimes we have three icons and sometimes we have five icons. What I noticed is that in order to get to see all five icons, if I click text and then I click on the photo in the center of the page or some item on the page, I will notice that these will then appear, the rest of the icons. I don't know why that's happening, but I know it's something that's, that's relatively new here. So um, as, as we're doing this, now I'm in images. I'm going to click Add to Library. Now this is my personal library. Now depending on your, your computer, this can be hard to see. Also, for certain people, they won't quite see this add to library. You may need to zoom out on your screen and make it a little bit smaller to get to this link. I've seen that particularly on some Macs. So we click add to library. And now what we'll notice is that we have the different options up here. So we have images. Images are really easy. We just click the plus sign and then we can select the image from our computer. Okay, we also have logos. Now what we'll notice with logos is that we have like four stock logos that we can have. Now it's my suggestion that if you're going to do the logos, the best logos to do are the PNG files um, from KW Connect. So in order to get your files, if you come to kwconnect.com, you want to make sure that you're signed in in the top right hand corner because if you hover over resources and you don't see marketing, it's probably because you're not signed in on the right hand side. You can click on logos and branding and you can scroll right down here and enter in your market center name or number and download the logos. You'll download a zip file. You will have to copy those files probably from that zip file. I've copied them onto my desktop in a folder. Um, that just makes it very easy for when I want to change change uh, a logo or add a logo. So in this case, I'm just going to delete the logo because you'll notice that when there's a logo there, there is an X. Uh, but when there's not, there's a plus sign with a white background. So if I click that plus sign, and I know where my logos are. In, in this case, like I said, I put them on my desktop. And I can see I have the KW logos. You'll t notice that you'll typically have a black and white and an RGB file. I find that these are the two... Um, two best ones to use 
for a majority of the time. So when we have the RGB folder, as we hover over the individual item, you see how it says image type PNG? That means that it is a transparent background. So what I find is that the four best logos to have are the, the PNG um, with the red text and then um, a red KW black text, red KW white text, and then I also find for certain pieces having the the what's called the gray KW here in the PNG and then the all white um, work the best depending on the individual marketing piece that we're, we're working on um, because they will already have created um, pieces with those particular logos. So in this case, I'm just going to show you I'm on RGB. I select the PNG file. And all you have to do is hover over that PNG file to see what kind it is. And if I did it correctly, when I this automatically saves. So when I click the X, I should see in my logos over here, I will see. You see how there's no background there. So it's just showing me the text. Now, we can also add in our details here. This is very difficult to see. What you will see is that there's boxes here. And um, sometimes, I'm, right now I'm saying it's taking a minute to load, but you will see the ability to add in all your specific information here. That's under the details. Now there's also text, which has some informa other information, like this is your job title, this is your bio that you've created in your marketing profile, and then this is your vision that you can add, and th these boxes are available to add so that you'll have access to them in your uh, text um, text templates here. So we talked about images and we talked about logos. Brand kit is really, if you are someone that has very customized item, like there's colors that you use specifically, you can add those colors here and they become easy, they become easy access items um, to get to when you're adjusting colors in the, uh, in the editor. Also, if you have specific fonts, you can add your fonts here. So I just want to show that these are options that you have. And once you do this, this is pretty much the basic setup for um, designs. And that way you will have your library and you will have, so for example, you will have your images here. You will have your specific text uh, items here to be used. Um, if you have icons or logos, you will have them all here so that you can easily just add them to wherever you need it. Um, on the particular page. So that's basically the, the setup for designs. I hope this uh, video was helpful and you can get started soon.